No, you weren't, but I guess oh. he's, he's always dancing. So we are at Solstice Canyon Educational Shelter, Santa Monica. Well, that's not, we're at Solstice Canyon. We have to find out where to go. Um, another day of hiking, another day of alternative to watching football. Um, but some interesting things are happening in the wake of um, the current president's discussions or decisions to speak out against the NFL. Yeah, it's been interesting. Uh, let's see, where are we going? I don't know where we're going. I would think that that's where the trail starts somewhere. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the parking lot. And we're just doing a loop. And just come, well, not a loop, but just going and coming back. What is it, six miles up and down? Yeah. Or 12 total? Uh, six. Okay. So, Solstice Canyon Trail. Here we are. All right, I'll be jumping out, trying to scare him. Okay, wait. So that goes, it's a different loop. We'll take this one. Um, Yeah, so what were we saying? Oh, football. It's gonna be an interesting day in football uh, to see what transpires so far. I think it was the London, is that the game? That, it was London game where Ravens and Jaguars, Jaguars. where players and staff kneeled. Um, you know, I, I gotta take an issue with this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just say it. Uh, Ray Lewis, I don't agree with the bullshit that you just pulled. Uh, <laughs> You spoke out against Cap and talked all that that BS. Now you over here cooning and now you want to be kneeling? Bruh. Bruh. Mm, I, I don't even know. I just think you whack for that. Um, let's see, what else do I want to discuss this morning? I might have to just leave it there. But nevertheless, it'd be interesting to see what comes together because I personally feel like it was just a bunch of BS and divisiveness on behalf of the president to try to incorporate sports and politics. And I don't think that that should have been infused into two because sports usually brings us together. Politics is what divides us. And here it is, our current sitting president is initiating the divide. That shows a lack of maturity. It doesn't show presidential qualities. It just shows somebody who is orange with short hands. Like, and that's what we get. An orange clown with short hands. And, and has no, no temperament for anything. So, very, very thin skin. But, um, anyway. I'll show you what's available on this hike. We have not hiked here before, so I really don't know. I'll tell you what I do know about Solstice Canyon. So apparently along this trail, we'll come across some house called Robert's house, which there was an African-American uh, house designer architect who basically put his stamp on this region, Malibu, and built over like 2000 houses. Uh, Frank Sinatra, he's like a, a world renowned architect, but I never knew about him, never heard of his name, but nevertheless, um, some of the houses or something in this area that we will see, he was behind building. So it's kind of inspiring because you don't hear much in terms of a world renowned architect like that's African American. You hear Frank Lloyd Wright and you hear all these other architects that are, you know, that have designed and built stuff. but. You don't hear one about an African-American person. So it's like sometimes you just need to see yourself. That's what the world don't understand. That forever we've been seeing only one race. One race in the superheroes. One race is the CEO. One race is this. One race is that. Come on. There's it's like 7 billion people in this world. And we only see one. That's, that's a problem. But I'm going to get off my soapbox. Because I'm sure that's not why you came to my channel. <sighs> I'll shut up now. Peace. This area is being monitored. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so I think, let me see. So I think the area that we are at now is what's known as uh, Robert's house. And this is where, this is the renowned architect that I was talking about earlier. So I don't know what's really here. Maybe this was where the house sat. That looks like fireplace, stove. I don't know what that is. But, uh, yeah, let's keep going. I think there were some fires in Malibu. That's what took down this stuff, I think. Place, place. He's like, give us an explanation. <laughs> there is no explanation. I don't know very much. I just know it's a oh. renowned architect. He is very, yeah. Um, oh, building oh, like really. around 2,000 houses out here. So. There's a plot down there. Did yeah. you see it? We we the the plot. Yeah. No, we came from this way. So oh, is okay. it just so right down? down? Yeah, it's there's right here. There's a plaque. Well, there we go. Oh. And then you can go there too. And then and I can you know, explain it to my YouTube viewers. You guys have a great day. Uh, where did they say the plaque was? Oh, I see it. Never mind. Okay. So I missed this because I went up those stairs over there and just went straight up and didn't come by here. So this is the guy. Although I would have liked a picture, but there goes one chimney and I only see one. So that's very interesting because there's like a bunch of them up there. But anyway, I don't have to read this to you. That's his name, Paul Revere Williams. Um, like I said, built like 2,000 houses up here. So very interesting. And if you come to Solstice Canyon, you get some history. So it's pretty cool. Wait, hold on a second. Did a lot of black people do this in 1952? Well, he came out here. And a black people, a lot of black people own some parts of Malibu. It just got taken back, you know, it got stolen and they got pushed out. But a lot of the land, uh, one black guy owned so much land out here, it was ridiculous. And then they pushed them out, so they stole the land. Oh shit, so that's what the house looked like in 1952? So you can kind of see what was out here. This before? right here is that, those initial yeah. stairs right there. What was out here? Nothing? It was, was it just Nothing. like this back then? Um, like barren? I'm sure it was barren. Just imagine the adversity that he experienced trying to do anything Man. in the 50s. How do you get wood? How do you get, how do you get any? How do you get anything? Like, how did you... Man, shout out to him. Word. That's... I don't really want to go this way. Sunrise Trail. Maybe that's a... For another time but I do want to get Waterfall. some pictures of the little, this one down here You can see the slither that came across here. Damn it. 
sorry, but I was too late to turn on the camera. My bad. Well, we made it uh, about two hours, I think, somewhere around there, maybe. Uh, the Solstice Canyon gets two thumbs up.